right, good day, and welcome to this tutorial class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing, Olaleko, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so to solve this uh, problem on the screen, yeah, it is the problem on the screen is actually a truncated square base pyramid, okay, and we'll be doing its development. So, the very first thing I'm going to do is to produce the elevation, okay, I'm going to produce the elevation, and the very first process there is to draw this horizontal line like this okay that thing horizontal line so after doing that the next procedure is i'm going to produce a perpendicular line to that okay a perpendicular line in this order yeah to that which is this right here okay so after doing that now we are told that the base yeah of that our uh prison okay sorry the base of that square base pyramid is what is 25 25 so I'm going to pick my compass, measure distance of 2.5. Okay, with this distance of 2.5, I'm going to stand right here. Okay, strike an arc right here. Okay, so I have the other edge there. You are told that the total height there is 35. So I'm going to pick my compass, measure height of 35, which is this. With this height of 35, I'm going to stand right here, strike my first arc at the top. Okay, stand right here with the same 35 strike my words my second arc at the top okay so i'm having this intersection right here so from that intersection i draw to the base right here first of all then from that same intersection i draw what right there okay so this is the elevation but we are told that at a mark of uh okay at a mark of 12.5 on the vertical plane at a mark of 12.5 on the vertical plane okay so let me get that first of all 12.5 which is this so this is the mark of 12.5 right here okay i'm going to project that horizontally first of all the mark of 12.5 i projected it horizontally so we are told that a line was drawn at an angle of 30 degrees yeah to truncate it at that mark so i'm going to do that just now okay so picking my 30 60 degrees head square i'm going to work place this like this and slide this to that junction as 30 degree i'm going to what draw this out at point 30 degrees do you see that okay having it in that order i'm going to what taking this to the base like this then i'm going to what taking this also like this and what i'm going to taking this bottom like this okay now we have that right there so the next procedure is towards to get the plan okay so how do we get the plan now how do we get the plan so the very first thing i'm going to do is uh pick my set square okay picking my set square i'm going to what uh project this ng okay project it downward like that okay after projecting down like that and project it very well towards the bottom part okay so i'm going to pick my ruler okay i'm going to pick a mark of 10 yeah from the base yeah mark of 10 that mark of 10 i'm going to draw that first of all horizontally like this okay as you can see right there so the next thing is what i'm going to pick my compass and pick that distance of 25 which is this with that i come right here do you see i strike here one okay then i come right here also i strike here also what which is what two so i'm going to what project them horizontally like that which is here to here okay so now i'm having uh this but this plan you are seeing right here now is not complete yet it is not complete yet why is it not complete yet we shall see so first of all diagonally i'm going to join this like this and diagonally i'm joining this also faintly draw with faint line first of all okay like this so i'm going to denote this as mark zero one two three over what over four now i'm going to get the sectional plan first of all so how do i get my sectional plan the very first thing is i'm going to uh, project from the midpoint here okay horizontally like this you understand like that so having that the next step here is this i'm going to pick my set square which is this picking my set square which is this i'm going to what pull this okay pull this down like this you see that then pull this junction down also so it touches this mark, this mark, this mark, this mark on its way out. So for that reason, I'm going to pick my ruler and join this down here like this. Okay, 
then taking this to this, taking this to this, then I'm going to what? Join this from here to here like this. All right. So after doing that, so I'm going to actually uh, pick my compass now to do the surface development. We have a complete plan of surface development. So from this midpoint here, extend my compass to mark zero or four here, which is this. Then what I what I draw this. So wherever the arc touches this area, I'm going to what project it vertically upwards, vertically upwards, which is from this mark like this to the top. So wherever it touches this area, I denote that as my mark what mark zero. So with that, I pick my ruler and what and I join from the apex to here to mark zero like this. As you can see on the screen there. So the next procedure is picking my compass. Okay. Extend my compass to mark zero, which is this right here, and what and draw this arc that you are seeing on the screen right there. So after drawing that arc, the next procedure is this. I'm going to pick one of the sides, which is this. Pick one of the sides, which is this standing at mark zero. I mark one. I'm going to step it up four times on that arc. Two. Then from two, theory, from theory is what? Four. So I'm going to do the number zero, one, two, theory, and what? Four. I'm going to join them, each of those points to, here, to the apex, like this, like this, like this, and like this. Okay. So after doing that, I'm going to actually... Uh, Okay, so I'm going to join here since it's a pyramid. So the square is base. I'm going to join zero to one like this. Do you see that? One to two like this. Two to three like this. Then three to four like this. Okay, having that in that order, what is my next procedure here? The next procedure here is picking my compass. Okay, then extending my compass from zero down here. Do you see that? Zero to this junction here, then what I draw an arc like this. So this arc is standing on mark zero, four, and three. So I'm marking this at mark what? Zero, mark three, and mark what? Mark four. So I'm going to join three and four together like that, which is this. Okay, mark zero is still there. All right, then from this area to this junction here, I'm, what? I'm drawing this like this. So this is on what on mark one and two. So mark one and mark two. So then I'm going to pick my ruler, join from zero to one, then one to two, then two to three, like that. Okay, as you can see on the screen right there. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to join this right here, this right here, this right here, and on mark one also right here then my mark this mark to mark zero right here okay so yeah to put the base to put the base what am i going to do okay so, so to produce uh the development for the base cover you understand so all i'm going to do is i'm going to pick any of the side okay let me go for side uh three and four let me go for side three and four and put it there so i'm going to extend this line of three and four here i'm extending it like this so seeing that extension, I actually use my set square, but if I don't want to use set square, I can use compass with my compass. I'm going to project a perpendicular right here. Okay. So I'm creating angle 90 degree on mark four right there. Okay. One and what? And two. So then from this mark four now down to this, I'm having this. Okay. So this line is perpendicular to this. So the next, the next procedure is I'm going to pick mark. 3 to 4, that distance of 3 to 4, which is this. Standing on 4, I mark it here. Okay. You see that standing here, I would, I strike this. Then standing on 3, I would, I mark this. So with my ruler, I'm going to join mark 3 to this junction like this. All right. Mark 4 to this like this. And here, down here like this. Okay. So as it is now, this is the surface development of this truncated pyramid and this is the one this is the complex plan of our truncated pyramid all right so what about if we're asked to show the end view the end view looking in this particular direction so how do we actually go about that how do we do that so the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my ruler okay from this base 
pick a mark of 10, which is this. This mark of 10, which is this. I'm going to what, place my set square right here like this and what, draw, first of all. Okay, do you see that? Okay, then the next procedure is this. The next procedure is this. So, from this edge here, I'm going to draw a line at angle of what, 45 degrees downward. So, with my 45 degrees set square, I'm going to what, uh, project from the edge of our drain here. Okay, downward like this. Do you see? From this edge here downward at 45 degree. So then, what's the next procedure? I am going to what uh, project each of the points here horizontally, starting from here. Okay, this base horizontally like this. Okay, followed by this mark here horizontally like this. Followed by this here horizontally, yeah, like this. Followed by this horizontally like this. Followed by this horizontally like this. Okay. Then what's the next procedure? Each of those points will be what projected upwards vertically from where it touches the what the line of 45 degrees. So this upwards, okay, this upwards, okay, this upwards, okay, this upwards, this is also what upwards. Okay, then what am I going to do next? What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to transfer this junction like this down here. You take note of that. Okay. So, uh, okay, I need to actually transfer this center line also, this middle line down here. Okay. Then from that area also, I'm transferring it out upwards like that. So, I have it in that order. So, then I'm going to pick my ruler. Then I'm going to draw from this area to the base like this and from this edge to that area right there so we are not done yet okay so this area now projected horizontally and this area we projected out horizontally so what do we have now what do we have okay so our view is going to look like this in this manner it's going to be year to year right here okay then down here okay then down here okay then this right here all right then this right here that is the view you will be having right here okay so thank you for uh your time taking your time to watch this kindly ensure you subscribe to our channel on youtube at michael tech once again, I remain Uluwa Tumbi Blessing, or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you.